welcome back to another video. Sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Me is so quick with the uploads. Intro's over. Subscribe before you go. Welcome back everybody, it's Mia So Quick, and as you can see, I am back in my kitchen. So, for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a strawberry crunch ice cream cake, okay? I don't know if any of you guys remember going to the ice cream truck and it having that strawberry shortcake popsicle with all little crumble bits on the outside. Yes, that was my favorite ice cream and it's my inspiration for this ice cream cake that I'm gonna make for you guys today, okay? So now, there are several steps, and in these steps, I'm gonna try to make it simplified, and I also have some shorter videos that break down step by step if you wanna make this completely homemade, okay? So, for step one, step one, you're gonna wanna make sure that you, of course, have some ice cream, okay? You can choose whatever ice cream. You can go with vanilla, or you can go with, most likely, a strawberry ice cream. I have chosen to make my own homemade ice cream. If you want to see how I made that, you can go ahead and click the little I somewhere here at the top of how I made my homemade ice cream, but that's going to be your step one. So if you're going to be using a store-bought ice cream, what you want to do is that you let the ice cream soften up just by letting it melt in this actual carton. And during that time, you can go ahead and line whichever type of cake you're making. For me, I'm doing a nine inch layered cake. So I have my nine inch pan that I'm just going to line with foil. And then once my ice cream is melted and softened, I'm just gonna go ahead and scoop that into my pan. And once I've got it all in there, I'm just gonna use my little spatula just to go ahead and smooth that. I wanna make sure this is really flat so that way it'll just stack super nice in between my other two layers of cake, okay? so. Once I've got it all smoothed out to my liking, I'm just going to go ahead and place that in the freezer to reset, okay? I suggest at least about a good six hours if you're making this. All right, so now that our ice cream is situated, step two is going to be to go ahead and bake your cake. All right, I made it simple and I just really grabbed two different flavors of cake mix. I have a strawberry and a vanilla. But if you wanna know some tips on how to take your box cake mix up a notch and really make it a bakery style, go ahead and click this video here and you can find out those tips, okay? So once you've got your cake baked, which just in time for mine, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out the oven. All right, so there is my strawberry cake. I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool for a bit. And once it's done cooling, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. And then once it's done flipped, I'm going to wrap this in plastic and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the freezer. So with my cake, I'm just gonna go ahead and flip it as you guys can see. And I just flipped it onto some plastic and remove the top. And there you go, that came out perfect. And I'm just gonna go ahead and, like I said, wrap it in plastic, and that's gonna help me seal in all of the moisture. And then I'm gonna go ahead and place this in the freezer for a couple hours. All right, so now that my cakes have set a couple hours in the freezer, I'm gonna go ahead and let them defrost for a while, and then we'll be ready to start assembling this cake. Okay, my cakes have been defrosted for a couple hours, and now I'm gonna start assembling this cake. So the very first thing, I have a little cake board down here, just a little cardboard, and I'm gonna start assembling my layers. I think I'm going to do my vanilla cake on my bottom layer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take the plastic off of there and set it up here on the cake pan and scoot you guys in a little closer to see what I'm doing. First, I'm gonna go ahead and just put down a thin layer of some buttercream just so that my cake does not slide. I made this buttercream myself. You can go ahead and click the eye over here in the top corner to see how I made my own buttercream, but you can feel free to use your own icing and even some store-bought icing would work as well for this recipe. So I lay that first layer down just to go ahead and then I put my first layer of cake down there and that just helps it not to move. The next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to do a thin layer of buttercream just to go ahead and cover this bottom layer 
All right, I am using buttercream because yes, it will harden and I know that my cakes will stay and will not slip and slide, especially my ice cream. So now that I've got my bottom layer, the next thing to do is go ahead and take my ice cream out of the freezer and I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it from its foil, okay? And once I've got it all removed from the foil, I am then going to take this layer of ice cream and add it onto that bottom layer of cake. So as you can see, it fits pretty good, but it does look a little wide. Even though all the cake pans were the same size, for some reason, I don't know if my ice cream just swelled or most likely my cakes just shrunk a little bit. But there it is after I laid my strawberry layer on top. And then I'm just going to go ahead in with my buttercream. And my plan was to go ahead and add my crumb coat to um, the whole cake. And the crumb coat is just like a thin layer of icing that just pretty much holds it all together. But if you can see, my ice cream is really just sticking out the sides. And I was like, this is not going to work. So I stopped um, icing at this point. And then I went ahead and grabbed a knife. And I'm literally just shaving off the XX excess ice cream on the sides of the cake to make it where it's all even okay and this was just like the best thing this worked out so well i wasn't even sure if it was gonna work out but this worked out perfectly so like i said if this ever happens with you just go ahead and just cut through cut through the ice cream because it's so smooth okay so i went ahead and did this and then once i got the ice cream at a shape that was even all around to match both my top layer and my bottom layer, I continued with my crumb coat of icing all around this cake. So now that I've applied a crumb coat of icing all the way around, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the freezer for about a good 15 minutes. All right, and while our cake is in the freezer, now I'm gonna go ahead and make the strawberry crumble. So let me show you everything you need for that. All right, to make the strawberry crumble, it's super simple. You're gonna need a half stick of room temperature butter. You're also gonna need um, some strawberry jello as well as some vanilla pudding straight out of the box. Now these are the six ounces, but you actually only need the three ounce um, boxes. So just be aware of that. And also you're just gonna need some flour, two thirds cup of flour. So let's go into making this. So to begin, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my butter and I'm just gonna be using a half stick of that and I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this directly into my mixing bowl. Once I got that, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the Jello pudding mix directly from the package, the dry mix, and just pour that in. Next, I'm going to add in my flour. And now I'm just gonna be with my hands, I'm just going to mix all of this together, okay? You wanna mix it enough until it creates sort of a texture like sand, so a sandy texture. So when you're done mixing, it should look something like this. As you can see, it looks kind of like a nice beach sand. So I'm done with that and I'm just gonna go ahead and place that onto a baking sheet lined with some parchment paper. So that's step one down. The next thing is to repeat these same steps, but now I'm gonna be using the strawberry flavored jello. So once again, I'm gonna use that other half stick of butter. I'm going to pour in the dry jello ingredients. And then I'm going to add in my flour. Right? And then I'm gonna go ahead and then mix that up again with my hand until I get a sandy texture. So 
So once it's at a texture that I like, I'm going to add this into the same baking sheet where I did the vanilla crumble. So once I've got it on a pan, I'm just gonna kind of mix these together, not fully, cause I still want the colors to kind of show up differently, but I'm just gonna go ahead and mix that. And once I've got it mixed um, to where I like it, I'm then gonna go ahead and flatten the mixture. So I'm just gonna press into it because this is really soft. So you just wanna go ahead and press this all in. And once you've got your mixture all flattened, you wanna put it in an oven at 350 degrees for about six to eight minutes. Not longer than that because you'll burn it. And then after it comes out, you go ahead and let it cool for about five to 10 minutes. And then you're ready to start actually crumbling it up. And so all you're gonna do is take your fingers and then just literally go in and start breaking this up into small pieces, um, as tiny as you want it. Now that your crumble is done, I took the cake out of the fridge where it was chilling with that crumb coat. And now I'm doing my final layer of buttercream around the cake. And I'm just gonna go ahead with my offset knife and slap on a healthy layer of frosting and smooth it all around, okay? Now, you do not have to worry about this being exactly perfect because we are going to cover this cake with crumbs. So you just get it to a nice level and get as much icing on there as you actually please before you spoon it out. So now for the fun part. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take that crumble and literally just place it on the cake. All right, I suggest you don't do it off the edge of a table like I did, cause it's gonna get on your floor. Okay, so make sure that you're in a space because the crumbs are gonna fall off. You're gonna press them in, but they are gonna fall off. So it can be a little messy. Uh, eventually I did just scoop this over, but yet you wanna make sure you're at a surface where if they fall, um, you won't make too much of a mess or just on your serving table, you can lay down some plastic or just make sure your counter tops are clean so that way whatever falls you can pick up and just um, use on the cake but at this point I'm just gonna go around and place all the crumbs on the cake and then eventually I run my finger just around the bottom just to smooth out to still get me a nice clean edge at the bottom of my cake Now that my cake is fully crumb coated, I am gonna show you a neat trick. So I just made really quick some whipped cream and I do this little method to help me get a less mess in a piping bag. So I just threw all my icing on some plastic wrap and you see I'm just kind of whipping it around. And then once I've got that and I got it smoothed over, I'm gonna go ahead and tie one end of the bag. And on the other end of the bag, I'm going to cut off the tip where all the icing is gonna come out. And then all I'm gonna do is go ahead and drop that into my piping bag. Because I'm using reusable piping bags and this just helps me to make less mess. And if you're a person that sometimes, no matter how often you pipe, all the icing starts, you know, like coming out the top. And if you don't want those problems, here's a simple hack um, that you can use. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in my piping tab my piping bag and I've just got it on here with a simple star tip. And I'm going to apply just some little dollops to the top of this cake, which is looking, oh, so delicious. Okay, I can't wait to eat it. So I'm just gonna go in dollops all the way around, just like that. And then after this, I'm just gonna place some strawberries on these dollops, okay? You'll see at first that I did it halfway with like the strawberries laying down and then I realized nope I don't like that and I just want to do my strawberries directly straight up so that is what I went ahead and did
Now, before cutting into this cake, you wanna go ahead and grab your big knife and make sure that it's warm. I just ran it under hot water, um, and that way it'll cut through the cake much smoother. So, let's go ahead and see what we got. And there it is, the cake. Now, I am by far the, the worst cake cutter, so, but yeah, as you guys can see, there is all of our layers, our strawberry into our strawberry ice cream, and then our vanilla layer on the bottom. All right, thank you guys so much for watching, and there is how I made this strawberry crunch ice cream cake okay hopefully you learned something and by all means if you would eat this let me know ahead in the comments all right feel free to subscribe and see more of my videos and until then i'll see you guys in my next one bye oh my god this is so good